Hi guys, my name is Solomon Qureshi and today we're going to talk about Power Query. Power Query enhances self-service business intelligence for Excel with an intuitive and consistent experience for discovering, combining, and refining data across a wide variety of sources, including rationale, structured, semi-structured, OData, web, Hadoop, Azure Market, and many more. Power Query also provides you with an ability to search for public data from a variety of sources such as Wikipedia or Google. Guys, before we proceed, I will just let you know that this is just an informative session about Power Query. So I will demonstrate how it works and we'll go into the technical details of this Power Query in the later sessions. But let's see how it works and what it is. So before I kick it off, let's see how we can find a power query for ourselves so in excel you have a ribbon and on the ribbon you see at the very end power pivot table and power query so this is here you can access it but for my friends who cannot access it through here for example they don't see it over here on their excel no worries just simply go to the file go to options and in the options you have this add-in so in the add-ins you find this power query or power map for example and you can download it here. In a case, if you don't find them there as well, you can go to Microsoft Office website and you can download it from there. So guys, let's kick it off and let's start with an example. So for example, I have a list um, of potential countries from my boss and my boss wants me to select top five countries for new contracts where we should go and start our business. So. Simply, I cannot take this decision only on the basis of the population. There is another column that I need, and that column is the number of mobile users, because that is my population to kick off a business in a country to make an intelligent decision. So for that decision, I need to plug in this data from web. So let me show you how we can plug in these two types of information. So this is one file that I have. So I will go simply to Power Query. In the Power Query, you have a variety of sources where you can get information from, for example, from web, from files. These can be Excel files, CSVs, XMLs, from text data, and from simple folders as well. Then there are certain databases, for example, Access databases, Oracle, and many more. And from Azure Marketplace as well, you can find it, or from a variety of other sources, even from Facebook. So, in the Power Query, what I'll do is I will simply go to from a file and from Excel. And I will go to the Excel which was shared by my boss with me to get this information. There you go. Now, Power Query is going to take a table from there. So, I have this sheet. I will choose this table of data and I will ask it to load in the bottom you can see there the load button so simply press the load button there you go so the query has been loaded this query can be amended from here edited and designed from there so you can change different designs for this and of course you can refresh data from here and uh, you can simply ask for removing duplicates over here as well you can make power tables or slices from here as well. But these things will proceed later once we have the next query as well. So we'll pull in another query. And the next question was that we need another column here. And the column should be the number of mobile phone users. Now, this is a tricky question because I don't have those number of mobile phone users with me. So I'll simply go to my browser and I'll simply go to Google and I will search for um, Wikipedia list of countries by number of mobile phone users. There we go. So now we have a list here. If I click on the list, I have got a table on this website. I will simply copy this link. Remember guys, this link is very important. So I've copied this link. Control C, and now I'm here back in my file. So in the file now, I need to pull in the other table that is on the web. So as I said, for the Power Query, I'll have to go again to the Power Query, and I'll have to change the data source now for the next data. 
So rather than asking from file, now I'll ask from web. So there you go. I clicked on the web and immediately the pop-up comes and Power Query asks me, can you please share the web source? I will press Control V. You remember Control C was the web link of that web page, this one. So I've copied this and now I've pasted it over here and I will simply press OK. There you go. Now Power Query is doing a job for me. It's searching and navigating the data. This is a Power Query navigator, which is pulling out the data from the website and the database of the website. So that is how really this is Power Query. This is powerful, guys. I have a table now here, three tables. The first table is document, which is related to that particular web page, which I'm not interested in. The second one is the list of the tables in the web page, which I'm also not interested in. And the third one is the one I'm interested in, guys. This is the list of number of mobile phone users by country. Cool, we got it. So I'll simply press load so that this should also come to my Power Query. So in my Power Query, in the navigation you see here, this is the workbook queries. So in this workbook, I have two queries. One is this one, that was from the Excel from my boss. And the second one is this one, which is from the web page. So when you hover on it, it also shows you some information. So the first thing I don't want to see is that this worldwide data, which is useless for me, I will simply delete it, just like you delete it from a normal table. Nothing rocket science. Now, I have two tables here. Now, the problem is I need only the information from the ta other table, which is related to the number of mobile phone users. So let me show you how you can get that information for yourself. So simply go to query, like table tool. Whenever you click on a query, it will give you the table tool. There you can design and check the query structure. So over here, what I want to do now is I want to merge actually this query, which is for my boss's file with the other query, which I took from the web. So I will simply press the merge button. There you go. So now we have on the top, the first table, which is containing this list from Excel. Now we'll select in the bottom, the second table, which contains the list from the other file. So I want to connect the list of countries with the other list of countries. So what Excel will do now will match, irrespective of the title of this field, it will match the data from here. So if it is Italy, it will go to the other table in Italy and pull out the data from there. So now I will simply press OK. And trust me, guys, that query or wheel looking up cannot be more easier than this. So what I've done is I've got this new query designed for myself where I have a merger of the two tables. So over here, you can also see the preview where whatever steps I will apply, it will be like recording over here. So let's start our steps. I will ask for a new um, column and the new column, if you remember, what was the new column? I have the list from my boss. I just need to add over here a new column and anyone remembers which was the new column? Yes, the mobile phone users. So I will click here. I will unselect all, by the way, now Excel is pulling all the columns from the other table for me. So what I want to pull in here is the number of mobile phone users. So I will simply press OK. And there you go, guys. I have all the data over here with me, all the countries with the number of mobile phone users and their population. That was it, what I wanted to do. And you can see the applied step. It is the expansion. So you can remove these steps from by clicking here. It will undo. So it is kind of undo if you click over here. So if I undo this, the the column is vanished. So I will again click here and I will take the number of mobile phones and here it goes again. So simply, this is how it is recording all the steps and this is how you can remove the desired steps out of this uh, working that you have done. On the top, you can see in the formula bar, it, it also shows you the um, the coding over there, but I'll, I'll say it's a little bit, a little bit, um, advanced user coding. So we'll not go into that detail. Rather, we work back on our table that we prepared. So our query is ready. 
The query was that we wanted to have the list of mobile phone users in front of the countries. Now what I'll do is, I'm done with my working, I'm done with my programming, whatever I was supposed to do with the Power Query. So I want to pull this data out of this in Excel so that I can play with it more. So what I'll do is I will simply go and over here you can see close and load. I will select and close and load. So what I've, I can see over here now is another table which contains all the required columns. This is the new dot number of mobile phone, which means it's linked. So the third, this is my query, which I designed. So it contains 40 rows, which are the 40 countries which I had in my list. Um, what I'll do is I will simply select these two columns because these are not clear enough for me to see. So I will simply go to home and I will change their design. So now they are quite more better design. So now I have the data with me. I will simply go and sort it by largest to the smallest. So now I have a list of countries where, for example, I've chosen my top 10 countries to kick my business off. So there you go. Rather, these are 11 countries. So for example, these are now uh, irrespective of their uh, population, now they are based on the more logical information that is supposed to be um, required for the business decision. So this is um, for improved and quality business decisions. You can use this Power Query. You have seen how it worked. Um, I hope in the next sessions we can go into the more details of the Power Queries and technical details. But this introduction, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that it was quite enough for you guys to understand what is the purpose of these Power Queries and how you can use them and how powerful these are. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to talk to you again then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.